This is the fourth part of our tutorial and now let's move on to the part where we get the title, the caption and we download the image. For each one of those we'll create a separate method. So let's keep going. Get let's create this method get title. Good. First before you get you would like to get the title, you need to check if you have the contents. If there is something there in this variable and here is here comes the moment of truth we will be using xpath and in order to use xpath with python i prefer alexml it's the fastest one so oh yeah it's already written here so you need to import e3 from alexml so let's let's go to our website and um, with chrome with chrome you have a really nice helper it's called um, xpath helper yeah okay good <clears throat> so you just add it to chrome and then i'll show you how to use it if you have firefox i think with a firebug you can do pretty much the same so for any browser you will get you'll get a helper how to see uh, this expense so for chrome how am i doing it you need to press shift control x and here comes the night the interesting part uh first let's locate where like we need we need this we need the title yeah so the title is in the div with the idc title but as a good practice let's like this title and let's search through the DOM, maybe we'll have a better place to take it from, like in the title, no, it's not the best occurrence, here is nice, and then here, here, okay, that's it. So, the best one is the visible one, but it's not, it's not always like that. So, with XPath, when you want, you, you can have absolute path, so you just start with a slash. If you want to show not the absolute path, but somewhere in the DOM, then you'll start with a double backslash, so you're showing that it's a div and then you want to say specifically that its id equals to c title and here you get it like really simple most of the time when you will have like a div a body a ul anything and it has a class it has an id it has alternative anything that you want to specify in order to get exactly this node this is how you do it so really simple let's copy this one and let's um, go back to our script so not now we need to create a tree tree will will be created with the e tree dot x path and now you specify like this path but there is one thing x path in this case will give you a list and he can find not just one node but several of those but uh, even if it's a single one it's going to be a list anyway so in order and if you are going to to do it like that like tax to retrieve just the tax anyway it's going to be a list so the easiest way not to have here try catch uh, try try to catch the exceptions or to see if the list is empty or if it's not just take this trick you get all this stuff and you just wrap it into a string. Oh, <laughs> but it's not quite like that because, oh, the, um, the tree is created a little bit differently. So when you will be creating the tree, actually you're going to be like, you're going to be doing like that, like e3.html and then here you specify you of what uh, tree dom dot tree what what tree out of the what <laughs> file you want to create and we are going to create it from our self contents which in, which is an HTML file and here <laughs> it's not like that it's not e tree we're just using what our e tree gave us like what it returned so it's just tree dot expat and we're going to save it to self dot title okay now it's <laughs> Now it should be good, now it should be good. Yeah, and the next one, let's get the caption, so it's going to be also pretty straightforward, nothing here special. So the same thing, contents, check it out, let's create a tree, e3 
that HTML, also from the self contents. Well, if you think about it, you can actually make a separate function for this for creating this tree and not doing it every time. But here we have just two occurrences, so it's it's I mean your choice. You can do it like that, or you can do it some other way. So we called our <coughs> variable caption the caption tree xpath and let's go and see where we can get the caption so the caption says it's ingress for square with space noises so let's go here and let's search for ingress ingress and funny enough we have one single occurrence and this single occurrence is the title for the image source in the id comic so how are we going to write it? We're going to have the uh, again a div. With the <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> with the ID comic, and if you want to retrieve something which is not inside the node but is inside this, um, how do you call it? Like tag. It just specified like that, so it was title. Um, something is not good here. Let's see if it finds this one. Yeah, it finds. And then oh, we have, and there is one more node there. IMG, and then for the IMG, we are searching for the title exactly. So this is what we get. This is our pop. This is the result that we want to get. Nice. We can also go to some some other random comic and to check if it works there let's go like that let's see <coughs> it's pretty much the same <coughs> again I'm sorry so we're going to do it like that and again wrap it in a string <coughs> so we're going to stop the video here and meet you in the next one.